My name is Professor Tawadindig Berry from Berry Challenge South, and today is day one of the nail investigation. Now, just to tie the loose end on the egg drop investigation, yes, it was impulse, and we have locked him in jail for three more years. Just kidding, just kidding. We didn't lock impulse in jail for three more years. How do we play baseball then? Instead, we let it go under a few charges. But beware. It can still ransack your kitchen and break all your eggs. So be warned. Lock your fridge if you need to. Be wary that also, unlike most criminals, impulse takes a short amount of time to do its work and is most effective and dangerous in short um, periods of time, unlike most criminals. But whatever. We found out who it was, Jay. We didn't lock Jay in jail, but we gave it some penalties and fines and we let it off. But anyways, now we have a bigger problem. Today, I was going to do a physics lesson and I was going to build another table since we had a shortage of tables. And another one was already being used downstairs for my brother who had been recording something. So I needed to build a new table. Luckily, I found a lot of supplies, a bunch of wood, a bunch of nails, a bunch of screws and only two hammers, which doesn't count as a bunch, but who cares? So, what I did was I saved them all in my drawer and I went to bed and I was going to get up today and I was going to start my work before breakfast, but then suddenly I woke up today and I saw <gasps> my nails are gone. Well, they weren't gone. But when I put them near metal, they just attached, completely cling to it. And since my table was going to be metal, I actually screwed that. It was actually going to be wood. But the room I was working in had lots of metal surrounding it, or like in it. So whenever I tried to hammer or nail it, it always just clung to the nearest magnet. And it was really getting annoying. I asked well, myself. Who turned my nails into magnets? And I thought of three culprits when writing them down on my notebook. I drove to the police station, and here I am to tell you the results after five hours of waiting. That's why it's so dark out here, actually. The moon is up there. That's how long I spent at the police station. He said, what is your case? And I said, who turned my nails into magnets? And then he said, do you have any suspect that makes our job easier? And I worried this was just going to be a repeat of the police deputy at the egg drop investigation. But then he started looking a bit more enthusiastic and he was writing down notes on his paper. So I thought maybe I would get a good case. Maybe for once the police can solve my physics problems. And then he said, what are your suspects? Then I said, I only have three, which makes your job pretty easy. It's either the lodestone, the magnet, or it could be the current carrying wire. I had to wait for two hours. Well, that's what he said. But then, after just one hour, he came up to me and asked, you didn't provide information about whether that was the first name, the middle name, or the last name. That's why we weren't able to track down the culprit already. Can you please give us the first name, middle name, and last name? Then I said, you idiot. Lodestone doesn't have a first name, middle name, or last name. Then he said, all right, we will get to work immediately. We know the new criminals have some nicknames in town. We will alert the FBI, the CIA. Never let Lodestone out of this country. And then I said, you freaking idiot. I knew he was probably going to do the same for the other two suspects. So I just walked out in that. Kind of like this. 